What's up guys, it's John Cody Jenkins with JCJ Gear. So actually, the footage you're gonna see uh, right now is from the other day. I didn't have time to film an intro and an outro. I've been doing a shit ton of orders, uh, but I wanted to take a little time to show off these knee pads that I made. Um, they It was for a trio set of gear, which was an absolute blast. It was X-Men themed, so I always love getting to work with uh, superhero stuff. I recently did a, a Colossus gear set, uh, and I had a blast doing that one. So when I got an order for an X-Men gear set, I was like, man, this is going to be fucking awesome. So I did not get time to film the tights, but I did get time to film the knee pads. So here's that footage right now. Day for a
There's one, we gotta do that five more times. I'm gonna do that now. essentially on the last step of these knee pads um, right now we're at a place where you could technically use these I guess but we're gonna kind of do something that cleans up the whole thing and it helps them from sliding down past your calf uh, I'm gonna use this inch and a half elastic I sometimes use a little bit thinner elastic but we're gonna go with this today the way I do this is kind of I just need it to really be tight around their their calf so it doesn't slide down so the way I mark this is I'll take my band run around right here and go right about there so I know when I sew this together it's going to tighten it up like that. So I mark that one, go ahead and cut it, go ahead and do the same thing here. Boom. And now I'm going to sew these into a loop. Nice and simple, fold in half. Switch back over to our zigzag stitch, and now we should have a, two loops. We're gonna go right to the bottom, fold this around, kind of like that. Put our loop over the top, and now we're gonna stitch it right together, right along this little extra piece of fabric we got down here. So, stretched out over the machine, and then we just run it. This is gonna be a little bit of a finagling thing, but you get used to it. Had done. Let's do the other one real quick. Same idea. Take our loop, thread everywhere, slide it over the base of the knee pad, open it up, slide it onto our machine, and get rolling. Now, you can put it on here. 
This one has a little bit extra fabric overhang here, but right around here. So I'm just going to trim this off nice and easy. I normally do this on all the stuff. They're going to have a little bit of an overhang. Just clean it up. Just don't cut into your elastic. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, all over me. Let's do a final reveal. Hope you enjoyed that video. I think this set, these sets turned out really, really cool. I really think I've hit like a really comfortable stride and like finding my, my own style of certain gears, like, um, finding my own flavor on gear, and I've really enjoyed getting to discover that. So uh, with that being said, if you guys need professional wrestling gear, please contact me at JCJ Gear on Instagram. You can also find me at John Cody Jenkins on Facebook, um, or you can leave a comment here and I will uh, see how I can get in touch with you there or send you a link or so on and so forth. But uh, if you guys end up making any, any gear from watching my videos. Uh, it's always an honor and that's always really cool. I know a couple people that have started making gear because of the videos I make, which is, uh, it's a really humbling and awesome experience, but I'd love to see the gear you make. Uh, or if you're just watching this as a seamstress or seamster or somebody who has no fucking clue what they're doing yet. We all start somewhere. With that being said, makers motherfucking delight. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let's get to sewing boys and girls and it's 2023. Who the fuck knows what's watching this? That was probably offensive in some way. I didn't mean it. You know what I mean. Later. <laughs>